Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, we have here an iPhone 4S on a Zotterbox case. And today, I'm gonna show you guys on how to downgrade the iPhone 4S back to iOS 6 in 2022. Because the method is different because, you know, a couple of years ago, Apple actually signed iOS 6 officially, but then with the time and GPS issue, the 9.3.6 release, Apple no longer signs iOS 6, so restoring it is a little bit hard, but it's possible, all right? So I wanna show you guys on how to do it, but first things first, you will have to jailbreak your iPhone for us, which I will link the video on the iCard of my video there, both for Windows and Mac. But for this uh, download tutorial, we need a Windows computer, all right? So uh, once you're jailbroken here, we gotta go ahead and go to Mr. Cydia. All right, so once you refresh your Cydia, everything is loading. We're gonna go to sources, uh, edit, add, and we're gonna add this repo right here. Okay, you add the repo, what is it? There it is right here. We're gonna go to all packages and we're gonna find KDFU. KDFU app right here. Okay, hit install and confirm. Okay, so here we are on Windows 8. I got a virtual machine, so it just says to answer, can we do this iOS downgrade over a virtual machine? So here we are, we're running a VMware, so you can see here, I got my VMware tools on a Windows 8, as you can see. The classic start screen that everybody hates for some reason. Okay, so we're gonna use these tools called 3U tools. Now, I know what I'm saying in the last video with a jailbreak about 3U tools. I'm still gonna stand it till this day, but this is the only way that we can do it right now, and especially it will work on Windows, so just bear with me, all right? So we do need 3U tools here, but we don't need the latest of the greatest version here, so we don't need version 2.61. So we need version 2.38, so let me go to 2.38, there you go. So this one, 2.38, released in 2020, January 8th. Now, you need to download this if you are running Windows 10, Windows 11, download this. Now, if you guys are running lower than Windows 10, we need version 2.17. So, scroll down here, 2.17. I'm on Windows 8 here, so I'm gonna download version 2.17. And the next thing is you're gonna download is, of course, the IPSW. Now, this also will work for the iPad 2. Wi-Fi seller and Wi-Fi only. It's a direct link from 3U tools, so I will also link them in the description below. This video sounds like I'm being sponsored, but believe me, I'm not. I mean, I'm saying all these things about 3U tools, man. I still stand until this day, man. Like, do they put some, you know, fishy things about it or not? But we don't know, man. We'll see. We have to trust on them, I guess. I'm not so sure. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the setup of 3U tools version 2.17 here. Now, if you guys are running a virtual machine like I do and you use VMware tools, you gotta go to here, player, removable device, and go to your iPhone here and make sure it is connected to the virtual machine, right? All right, now we're gonna go back to our phone, make sure it's connected to the computer, go to the KDFU app right here, and we're gonna turn on all these things. So find bundle, download IBSS, so wait for it to download, and make sure you have to have a Wi-Fi connection to get all these things. Find IBSS, phone IBSS, and we're gonna hit on enter KDFU, like so. There we go, bye-bye system. Bye-bye to you too, iOS 9, that is leggy 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 all right so i'm on my virtual machine here so let me go and go to click on player removal device apple iphone and connect disconnect from host okay we've got an error here all right it is now connected to my virtual machine you can see there the dfe mode driver is installed i'm going to go and go to 3u tools again here and you can see here my device is connected dfe mode we're going to go ahead and click on go flash here okay now we're going to click on pro flash here Click on here, import firmware. And there you go, this is my iOS 6 firmware. Hit open, and as you can see there, current firmware is blah, blah, blah. And now we're gonna click on Flash. The firmware may be custom firmware because it is a custom firmware created by 3U tools. And click on Flash anyway. Current firmware version is selected, doesn't support. Do you wanna continue? Of course, we're gonna click on yes. And there we go. We are now, we're gonna wait for the process to finish. And we'll see what is crack lacking, shall we?
All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We finally see the iPhone. Ooh, let's start to unlock. It's always nicer. Now, while we're setting up this phone, I want to talk about a little bit about people who is selling this phone. Yeah, hold on. All right, see if it activates here. Unlock my iPhone 4, and we are able to activate. All right, good. So what I want to say here is I see a lot of people on marketplace, all right, and especially my local marketplace that sell an iPhone 4S on iOS 6.3 and they call it a rare iPhone. Like, bro, there's no rare iPhone about this, man. There's nothing rare about it, man. There's nothing rare about it. I mean, I can see I can just downgrade like that, like normal here, settings, general, about, bam 6.1.3 and the thing is people are calling this iphone rare and all these things meanwhile almost everybody everybody can downgrade a normal iphone 4 as like i did i come from ios 9 and i am to ios 6 there's nothing rare about it all right an iphone 4 is on 6.1.3 unless it's on other version of ios 6 all right 6.1.2 6.1 6.0 okay that's rare but on 6.1.3 it's nothing rare about it, man. We all can do this downgrade, all right? And especially Apple signed the downgrade back a couple of years ago. So there we go. There's nothing that special about it. I just hope that, you know, if you guys want to sell your iPhone, don't call this a rare iPhone, man. It's just okay. It's iOS 6. It's speedy. It's nice, but it's not rare because you can actually downgrade it like normal, like easy PC, all right? Like you can see, it's easy PC, all right? So iOS 6, and I think you guys can easily jailbreak also with POSIX Zone because that thing that's also supporting 6.3. And yeah, camera works. Let's see here, camera will work. Of course, camera will work, what I'm thinking. And since this is not we using any special tool, we're using a 3U tool, especially, you know, as people say, an, an iTunes replacement. This will be an unsettled downgrade. As you can see, we turn the phone immediately. We got the start line on the apple logo right there so there's the ios 6 app logo and there we go slides on lock let's hear that thing oh yeah that's so nice man so yeah there we go we successfully downgraded an iphone 4s back to ios 6 with a virtual machine so there you go that's uh solve some of you guys question like can i downgrade with virtual machines and all these things well yeah but I'm not, I'm not so sure with uh, Oracle Virtual Box, which is why I'm using VMware. I'm just trying it out, and especially it's been it's been a, a better performance on my laptop at least than uh, Oracle Virtual Box. So you guys should try that out. All right, so there you go. That's enough for the video. A quick little video here, basic video, and also a quick little PSA that an iPhone 4S on iOS 6 is not the really answer for all those people who are selling this phone on a marketplace on iOS 6. Don't call this rare, please. Thank you very much. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.